After World War II, one such area developed in Hyde Park. In the 50s, plans were drawn up to pull down large areas of slum building and to rebuild using government funds under an urban renewal program. It was to be a show project, replacing a blighted area with an integrated community. Who controlled the spending of that government money? It was, in fact, my own University of Chicago, which felt its very existence threatened by the spread of urban blight and crime. Government money was used to tear down an area that contained many small shops, as well as families of low income. Once the area was cleared, private money rebuilt it with middle-class apartments, townhouses, and shopping complexes. The blight had been cleared here, but only to be shifted elsewhere. In many instances, when, when government administers large grants, a lot of those funds don't wind up directly uh, serving the people and achieving the objectives that, that were the intent of the programs because you, the, the, the grant has to feed that large government bureaucracy. Joe Gardner helped to set up an organization of local black people to protect their own inners. Previously, the blacks had rioted in the streets to try to get their way. Now it was to be done peacefully using government money. When government funds became available, the Woodlawn organization got control. They used them to build the kind of houses they wanted, low-rise apartments like these. The bureaucrats, planners, and architects told them that it was uneconomical, that only high-rise blocks would work. They were wrong. A lot of people have this, this view that uh, the disadvantaged, if you will, have no idea of what their problems are and how to resolve them, that it takes outside professionals to do that. And we say that's baloney because the outside professional does not feel in his gut what a uh, woman on welfare with six kids uh, living off $100 a month in a, in a, in a uh, deteriorated building feels. She can come up with solutions much better than a bureaucrat. The intentions of this local community group are good. They want to rebuild the community as the community wants. 